If you go to the Baltic Sea in Germany, you might be lucky enough to find amber, or maybe with misfortune, because there is a highly toxic and spontaneously flammable doppelganger, white phosphorus. White phosphorus is confusingly similar to amber and is common in the Baltic Sea because white phosphorus was part of incendiary bombs in the World War II. After the World War, around 300,000 phosphorus munitions were then disposed in the Baltic Sea. This is dangerous because white phosphorus and the phosphorus fumes are not only poisonous but also tends to ignite at a temperature of 20 to 40 degrees Celsius and the fire cannot be extinguished with water. If a tourist finds alleged amber and put it in its pocket, white phosphorus can ignite itself. This can be easily caused severe burns. But why is white phosphorus so reactive? Well, this is mainly because of the white phosphorus structure. In a white phosphorus molecule, there are four phosphorus atoms written P4. Each atom can take three electrons. However, because of the angles of 60, the bonds between the relatively large P atoms are very straight. Due to the unfavorable bond situation, a lot of energy is released when the bond is broken through reaction with oxygen. To avoid accidents, it's helpful to learn the first aid and the firefighting skills. Keep alleged amber or phosphorus in a dark fireproof box in case of catching fire. In an accident though, you must know that the fire is only put out with sand. So put the sand on the flame and block the path of oxygen. And important, call the ambulance. As you might have noticed, there are lots of chemicals in our everyday life. That's why we have to learn about safety and chemistry.